everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a kids clothing haul. After my last kids clothing haul video, a few of you in the comments said keep them coming, we want to see more, and I just haven't gone shopping for kids clothes since that one. If you guys haven't seen that one yet, I will put it up here, but this time I went thrifting, which is a little bit new for me. So the main place I went to was Once Upon a Child, which I've gone there many, many times before, but I've never really shopped there. I have literally filmed this next thing I'm about to say six times because I keep stumbling over my words. But if you guys don't know what Once Upon a Child is or you don't have one near you, it is a kid and baby consignment shop. So you can take things to sell and get some quick cash or you can get store credit or you can just go there to shop. So they have clothes, strollers, toys, books, cribs, literally everything you need if you have a baby or a child, they've got it for you. Now, I have only ever sold to them. I have never shopped at one just because the ones around us back when we lived in Ohio never really had anything great and they also weren't very close to us. So I didn't go there a ton unless I wanted to you know, make some cash and get rid of some stuff. Now that we're in Arizona though, I was excited to, you know, be in a whole new area and give a whole new store a try. So we took a whole load of stuff there the other day to sell and I figured while I'm here, I should look for some more clothes for the girls because if you don't know, we recently moved to Arizona and the girls just need to be stocked up on like shorts and tank tops because it is so hot here. It's hot all year. And especially right now in the summer, it's super, super hot. So the day that we were there, they were having a sale and it was 60% off all their red and white tags. So I tried to find as many things with the red or white tags as possible to try to get more for my money. I also have a few items mixed in here too from Goodwill, but what I'm gonna do is start with Aubrey because I actually only got her three items. If you don't know, Aubrey is my six year old. She doesn't need quite as much. So that's why I only got her a few things. So the first thing that I found for Aubrey was this dress. And I was actually really surprised that she liked it because I wasn't so sure. But then as soon as she said she wanted it, I was like, all right, we'll do it. So it's this really cute dress. I figured she could wear this for the 4th of July. I love it. And I love this bow on the back. I really do like stuff with anchors. Um, this isn't like as patriotic as I would normally get. But like I said, she liked it. So this dress was a red tag. It was $3.50 and so then it was 60% off of that. The only other thing I got Aubrey at Once Upon a Child was a new bathing suit. She only has one right now and we go to Splash Pads and our pool all the time. So I found this one. I love anything with pineapples on it. So I just thought this was so cute and look at the back. This is actually the Children's Place brand, I'm pretty sure. Jimboree, it's Jimboree. And it wasn't a red tag and it was $6.50 but for a bathing suit that literally looks like it was never worn from Jamboree, in store that probably would have been at least $20. So that was a score. Along with Once Upon a Child, I did grab a couple things at Goodwill as well, which was also new for me. My husband's always been into going to Goodwill and I never go with him, but I've been starting to go and I've actually been finding really awesome stuff. So I decided to look for some clothes for the girls this last time we went. One of the things I got for Aubrey at Goodwill, it's this really cute tank top. I think it's gonna be a little bit big on her, but it's blue and white stripes. And then this is the back, which I just thought was so fun. And I've never heard of the brand, it's called Ransom Girl. And it says it's a large, which she's definitely not a large, she's like a small, but it looks like it has probably shrunk over time. So even still, she has plenty of time to grow into it. We'll be in Arizona for a while. The only other thing that I got her was this really cute jean skirt, which is the brand Revolt. And it's just so cute. It's got this cute butterfly and then this stitching across the bottom. And it has the shorts. And the day we were at Goodwill, their sale was off of their purple tags. I forget exactly what it was. So this was $1.99 and it was a purple tag. So I got some sort of discount on this. Okay, so moving on to Madeline, she is my two-year-old. I only got her three things at Goodwill. First thing I got her, I don't know what brand this is, but I got her a jean skirt as well that has some really cute stitching on it. And this is only $1.49. And I believe, yes, this has a, the shorts under it too. Then I found these, I have no idea what she'll wear with them, but 
They were literally 49 cents and I just thought they were adorable. These really cute white like Hawaiian floral shorts. I just think they're adorable. And then I got her one more pair of shorts because she really doesn't have anything denim. So these are Faded Glory and they're a lighter denim which is my preference. And look how cute those pockets are. And these were only 99 cents. So I got her a bunch more stuff from Once Upon a Child. Starting with these, these are adorable. They are so, so soft too, and they look like they've never been worn. They're just these cute, athletic looking pink shorts, and these were 250. They weren't a red or white tag, so they were just 250. I found her another pair of denim. These are darker, which isn't my favorite, but I thought they were cute, and they were 250, plus they were a red tag, so they were 60% off of 250. But they're these, and then this will tie. Just thought those were nice. Then I found her a cute pink skirt. This was $2.50 and it was a white tag, so it was 60% off as well. Really cute. Then a couple of the tank tops I got her aren't like really my style, but they were red tags, they were cheap. It's not a big deal. Kids grow out of clothes so fast that I'm learning it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start going to these places more often because it just makes more sense. So this one I do like because it's Disney, it's Doc McStuffins. The wording on it is kind of weird to me, but it was 150 and then it was a red tag. So it was 60% off of that. It was less than a dollar. It's cute, definitely cute. But it says, have cuddles, will share. And I just feel like it's kind of worded funny, but it's really cute. The other tank top I got her, again, it has an anchor. It's just not really my style. I don't know, like the pattern on it isn't really my style. It was $2.50 and it was a red tag, but it's cute. I don't know how long this one will fit her. It seems like it might be a little bit short on her. And then the other tank top I got her is so cute. This is a Carter's brand, looks brand new. It was a red tag, it was $1.50. So again, it was less than a dollar. Look how pretty that is. So those colors are so fun for the summer. I love it. Then I found this t-shirt and really only got it because it was a red tag and I was like, okay, this will be perfect for her, but it's a Route 66 shirt from the Grand Canyon and we have a Grand Canyon trip coming up this summer and my husband is obsessed with Route 66. So it just made sense to get it. Oh, and one more tank top I got her is this one for the 4th of July, which she'll probably just wear with a pair of like those denim shorts. And I was really surprised that this stuff was included in the clearance. This was also less than a dollar because it was 150 and it was a red tag. So I was surprised that with a holiday approaching that they had this stuff clearance, but hey, that was awesome. The next thing I got her, so the tax is 2T, but it literally doesn't say 2T on it anywhere. And it looks a little big to me, but I decided to go with it anyway because I just couldn't pass it up. But it was a red tag, 350. And it's this adorable denim dress. So there's cute detail here. This bow, you can see it's got this around the waist. And I just thought it was super cute. And then the details at the bottom as well. So like I said, there's no actual tag on it that says the size, so I don't know if they just guessed or it looks like a tag was cut off um, at some point. I don't know if they did that for some reason or if whoever sold this to them had done that, but it's adorable. So I was like, even if she can't wear it right away, I'm still gonna snag it. The most expensive thing I got her was a nightgown. It was 450, it wasn't a red or white tag, but it's this shimmer and shine nightgown. She loves wearing nightgowns to bed. And really what I was after there for her was nightgowns, but none of their pajamas were red or white tags and they had almost no nightgowns. So I totally struck out on what I was there for, but I did at least want to get her just one. All right, you guys, now my favorite thing that we found, it's going to be a little bit big on her, but it's going to be perfect for our upcoming weekend trip because where we're going, it's going to be a lot cooler than it is here. But we found this. You guys know, I say this all the time in videos, I'm obsessed with Disney, so it says Minnie down the side. There's Minnie, there's polka dots, there's her cute face, and then the hood has Minnie ears and a bow, and then the inside is pink. So, 
could not resist this. This was not a red or white tag, but it was only $3.50. And she'll be able to wear this for a while because it's a 3T. So she's definitely not going to be growing out of this anytime soon. All right, you guys, that is all for this thrift clothing haul for my girls. Let me know if you liked this video down below. I think I'm going to start trying to go there maybe once a month and see what I can find. And if I find enough, then I will put it in a video or maybe just throw it into some vlogs as well if it's only a few things. But it was actually like really fun going to like Goodwill and Once Upon a Child and seeing what I could find and how cheap I could find it for. So this might become a bit of an addiction for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up before you go and hit that red subscribe button if you want to see more. Bye guys.